Hello. Dude, when was the last time I streamed? I feel like it's been a really long time. I feel like I don't know what to do. Like on one hand, you know, we're just chilling. I can't track face still. Why no face track? Anyway. Yeah, last time I streamed was the Infinite Craft stream, apparently, because I went into my YouTube settings to make this, and it's just like, do you want to reuse the settings? And I was like, oh shit. But yes, now I have free time poggers. So now I'll hopefully stream a bit more in the near future, get a real game going, etc. So. I'm just trying to figure out all that I gotta manage things. Happy 10.30 p.m. or whatever your time zone says your current time is. Yes, it's 12.32 p.m. on the 27th of March. So. So happy... Happy afternoon. <laughs> to all of my... Viewers with different time zones. I do need to stream more, oh my god. I don't even know how to talk anymore. Happy March 26th. It's the 27th. Okay. Exactly, okay. Anyway. I'm gonna make the music shut up because, oh my god. I hope I got the audio to be okay for this game. Because, um... It's kind of just extremely loud. Like, that's one thing I did remember about this game. From when I was young. Is this game just, like, starts like, bam! And then there's, like, super loud music. And, like, you can't even hear the narrator talking. And the audio just clips really bad. So, dude, can I just also point out, this is beautiful. Like, this, beautiful. Like, I love the stained glass look in this game, the textures, it's beautiful. Love it. So, now I'm gonna try to set it all up. As soon as I kind of click on the window, it'll start playing. So, hope we will get that going. It's gamer time. Long ago and far away, a beautiful woman named Belle befriended a beast who lived in an enchanted castle. Now that castle is alive with activity in preparation for a special event. There is much work to be done. You've arrived just in time. Oh, a guest. How exciting. Please type in Don't read the here. name test. If you've been to the castle before, just click Ignore on the Ignore that. Name, then click on the rose. Dude, that sound effect is so nice. Little. And honestly, I'm so, I was so shocked when I was like testing this out earlier. And it was like, like that's actually Angela Lansbury. That's not like a sound alike voice actor. They got the full cast of this movie to be in this random PC game. I almost want to type my real name. <laughs> oh, look, my name fits! <gasps> okay. Oh, how exciting! Belle will be so glad to see you. Lumiere Cogsworth, this is wonderful. You're sure the Beast doesn't know we're planning a surprise party? A surprise? We have maintained the utmost secrecy. I adore surprise parties. They're so surprising. And so much work. We've got to prepare the ballroom, set the table, create the invitations. Oh, settle down, Cogsworth. That'd be a great time to hit the whip in that song. Round up again. Lumiere is right, Cogsworth. Everything will be fine. Quelle chance! Visitors! Help has arrived! This is perfect! With your help, we'll get ready for the party in no time. And then, once the ball starts, you can be our guest! Well, let's get ticking then. Time is of the essence. Allow us to show you Damn, these bitches talking a long time. Humble abode. There's fun to be had in every room of the castle. Simply click on the door, and in you go. Go ahead and explore the kitchen, the ballroom, the library, and the garden. There are different things to do in every room. But remember to stay away from the west wing. The master must not be disturbed. Belle, the secret passages. Oh, that's right. Be sure to keep your eyes open for secret passages. They'll take you from one room to another. And when you're ready to leave a room, just click on the magic mirror and you'll come back here to the foyer. When you're ready to leave the castle entirely, return here to the foyer and click on the mirror. So, select a room, and away we will go. Technically, it is skippable. 
I just didn't want to skip it. Um, but yeah. So, I think I... I was just thinking, I've seen... I've seen this movie maybe maximum two times, I think? Like, I have no idea what happens in Beauty and the Beast. Well, actually, I had one of those, like, Would children's... Like to go to the ballroom? I'm talking... Sorry. <laughs> it's interrupting me. There was one of those, um, you know, like, for children, they make the, those little square board books or something? I remember the story that way. I actually don't remember what happens in this movie. And I didn't watch the live-action remake because I cannot be bothered to watch a movie. But this game? Mrs. Potts I know this game. Table. Mrs. Potts the... tea time table. I think we did watch the scary Christmas one more. The scary CGI organ is so not worth it. Okay, where should we go first? I'm taking suggestions. Where do you want to go first? Each one is pretty good. I might have personal favorites. And honestly, I don't know where all the secret passages are. I know like maybe two of them for sure. How many are there? Would you like to go to the garden? Okay, I'm making this my choices. Mama, mama! What is it, Chip? We need to get ready for the party. But look who's here! Oh, hello, love. Chip and I were just setting the table for the master's party. We have different settings for tea, dinner, and dessert. There's so much to do. Will you be a dear and help us? To see how you would do it, look under the plate. All the instructions also are very long, do but I don't want to skip them. Move the dishes and their contents from the cupboard shelves to the table in the right order. Just click on an item to move it down. Gives me time to, the to eat my french fries. We'll need four place settings for each course. <laughs> and it gets harder with each course. For tea, you only need five pieces, but for dessert, you need seven. Oh, and try not to break anything, okay? Click on the plate cover to change the course you want to build. Good luck, dear. Click on the timer to begin, or to return to the foyer, click on the magic mirror. Let's go! Okay, I have a question about Beauty and the Beast. Was there a magic mirror return to the foyer. in the in the movie? Or is this just like a thing? They're just like, oh, you know what? Disney princess, uh, uh, magic mirror. Also, they said that <laughs> they said that this one was the easiest one, but it is not the easiest one because you can break the dishes, I think, more easily. But I don't remember for sure. That should have fallen onto it. Okay, the tall one's the hardest. Okay, that would have worked if it was a different plate. <laughs> I did it again. It's gonna land on the one that's already done. Fuck. Okay. Let's go, come on. Let's fucking go. Okay. We're gaming, we're gamers. This is gonna be flashbacks to like that Pajama Sam 3 game where you gotta get to the apple in the middle. I brought that one takes longer for some reason. Like they're not even for timing purposes. Kinda messes things up. Can I get the spoons? Mm, spoon! Spoon! That should have gone on. Am I crazy? I'm doing it in the wrong order. I thought I could do it in any order, but I have to do it in the exact order. Okay. Well, we're breaking all these dishes. That wasn't even close. It's called the Enchanted Mirror, possessing magical abilities, allowing its user to do any of them. That sounds pretty dramatic. That's not gonna land. We've gotta work even faster. Okay, Come shut on, up, child. Oh, I also have a question about logistics of this. I think I saw it on TikTok recently, but people are asking the question, like... Like, based on Chip's age, compared to, like, when all the transformation and shit went down, like, was... Like, he had to have been born after they transformed. So, like, was Mrs. Potts just, like, pregnant and got transformed? And then the... The unborn child inside of her was also 
transformed and then she gave birth as a teapot? Like, what's the logistics of that? How did that work out? We got the strats. This is the strat, guys, trust me. Oh shit, I missed it. We'll wait a cycle. Look at that. I just pulled him out like a Russian doll. Would that be a premature birth? Or they wait until he was like to term? Or is that why he has the birth defect of being chipped? The main course and dessert. All we need now is more than half of it. To change to a new course, click on the plate cover again. But yeah, Start if Chip again. was born chipped, is that a birth defect? Wow. Wow. I don't remember all the details. Look up the timeline. Look at the timeline, because they got transformed a few years or something before Chip was born. Wait, did she get... I love that free sound effect. Now, if you know everything, Volty, tell me how Chip exists. Please. Thank you. We got the strat again. Oh, we got the cake here to fake us out. Like, oh, don't clear the cake. But like, you literally, like, it won't stick to anything, even if you try. So it's not like it's dangerous. They stop aging. Oh, I love that sound. Oh my god. Okay, um, tomato time. Come now, dear. We've got to hurry. I gotta be doing this faster than the average four-year-old, Mrs. Potts. We're fine. We're chilling. You know, I'll play it for real. Play it for real. So do, wait, does that mean that like, if they don't transform back, they're all immortal? Oh my god, this game is so loud in my freaking ears. Okay. Anyway, let's make dessert. I realized I didn't set up my model the same way I normally do. We're fine. Can I even change it now? No, I cannot change it now. That's okay. It's probably it's probably fine. I'm not gonna like go off the screen unless I do that. Let's dessert. let's go. We know you like dessert, Chip. You're literally a child. Not to say that everyone, not, not to say that only children like desserts, but like it's kind of a given. That's way too early. Come on. No. Oh, well, maybe it's perfect. Oh, per look at that easy cheese. I don't know why I clicked the cheese button. I didn't change the course. Y'all, I'm wasting time. To change to a new course, click on the plate cover again. I know how to do it. Yummy. I can't wait till we finish dessert. Okay. I can like chip is miss Who's who's our other kid? Easy, easy, easy. That's not gonna work. No, I'm not caught up on the Mrs. Potts lore, I'm gonna be honest.
Oh, it went on. I thought it would miss. So our other kids escaped. Oh, the ice cream is too high. Timing is awful. This game is my, stupid. My, my. We don't have much time left, do we? Hurry up, dear. Okay. This should be good. Nice. Cherry is also very high up for some reason. It was kind of a miracle how we got three of those in a row. Oh, first try. First try. Okay, candle. Oh dear, oh dear. That was perfect. Two finished. It falls fast. My, that looks wonderful. Even better than the time I cleaned the cupboards. Oh dear. Oh Voice dear. direction on that line's that a little messed perfect. up. The way you said it implies well that I'm done. cleaning the cupboards. You're a regular speed demon, you are. Fine work. Lumiere, can you come here, please? Yes. I mean, there are more staff Ooh, than just Mrs. Potts. They could be like someone else's kids. All it needs is atmosphere. By Jove, we are. I suppose what? the food is all ready for the party now. Sake, if you're sure you want to leave the kitchen, click a... Oh dear, it's terribly dark in here. Listen, Mama, I hear music. Why, you're right, Chip. I think it's coming from the ballroom. You think? You found the way to the ballroom. Come in. Thanks. There is so much to do before the dance can begin. We'd better get ticking. Oh, Bell knows dozens of dancers. There is nothing to worry about. Well, we know a few dances, but I want this to be special. We need to decorate the ballroom, pick out the right outfits and instruments, and create a special new dance for the big surprise party. Oh, maybe our friend can help. Good idea, Lumiere. Would you help me get the ballroom ready for the surprise party? And when you're done, we can put it all together. Click here to choose my ball gown. Click here to choose the steps for the dance. Click here to prepare the music. When you're all finished, you can click on the doors behind me mm -hmm. to start the dance. If you'd like to leave the ballroom, click on the magic mirror. Okay. Now, wait. Oh. There's no time to lose. Every time I think they're done, they say something else, like... <laughs> Choose a dress. Prepare the music. Mm hmm. Choose... Woo Hello! Hi. Are you ready to select some stunning evening wear? Can you calm down a bit? Belle's gowns are all in here. Choose a dress to see the whole outfit. If you like it, click on the picture of Belle to select it and return to the ballroom. You guys know my microphone is picking up sound, apparently, when I'm not talking? So I just saw that. Which dress should I pick? Oh, that certainly is a pretty dress. I was hoping to get a better look at that dress. Let's take a closer look. I was hoping to get a better look at that dress. So basically, there are two styles and two colors. This one's the default, so it's boring. What is flashing the light outside my apartment? Oh, that dress is I want this one. Thank you. Oh, wonderful choice! Belle is going to look absolutely stunning! Of course she picks the green one. The dress you've chosen. Thanks. Once we choose the instruments and the dance moves for the ball, we'll be ready to go. Yep. Choose the chair to prepare the music, mm -hmm. or click on the dance floor to select the steps for the dance. Gotcha. Pre click on any musician to hear him play an instrument. Click on a musician again to change his instrument. Each musician can play one of three different instruments. Oh, what talented fellows! 
Once you've selected instruments for all of the musicians, click on the sheet music. Click on any of them to get started. Okay. We're pick bass. A lovely melody. It will do very nicely for the party. Thank you. I didn't choose that one, dude. Calm down. I want this one. No, not this one. This one. Boom. That's great. Okay. Wonderful music for a ball. This one's kind of tough, honestly. I don't really like most of them. I gotta represent my high school trauma. Delightful sound. Yo. That sounds beautiful. Okay. Oh, oh my god, dude. They got the accordion and the harp. Oh my god. That's a tough choice. That's a tough choice, I'm not gonna lie. Two of my favorites. Which would go best with the what else we got here? Keep it subtle, perhaps. Ooh, the master would be quite pleased with. I can't wait to hear them play this at the ball. Lovely selection. Thanks. Our musicians will remember the instruments you've chosen and get them ready for the ball. Why, all we need now is to choose the dance steps, and then the ball can begin. Click on the dance floor to select the steps for the dance. And now, mon ami, help create a dance for the master and Belle. Just choose a tile and place it on the ballroom floor, starting here. To have the master and Belle step to the right, place the step tile to the right That's of actually the their left. Square. For the master and Belle to step to the left, place the step tile to the left of the start square. You get the idea? To have the master twirl Belle in a circle, put this tile onto the dance floor. If you would like to have the master dip bell in a romantic fashion, put this tile onto the dance floor. I taught him this move myself. To make them spin in a circle, put this tile onto the dance floor. If you'd like the master and bell to fan out to the side, put this tile onto the dance floor. These moves take two, and these take only one. I'll let you know when you only have a few steps left. This banner will show you all the moves you have added to your dance. That way you can put more than one move on a tile, if you'd like, without losing track of what steps you are taking. If you decide you'd what? like to start over, just click on that irresistible feather duster to reset the dance floor. When you're finished... Keep it in your pants, dude. What the hell? What are you waiting for? It's time to make some magic happen on the dance floor. A bit much. Well... Um... I don't remember what this is. Spinning? Some stepping. Some spinning. Some... What exquisite taste! Dude, what if I like try to fill up the whole... I'm not gonna fill up the whole thing. We should make this quick and painless, I think. Um... Oh, this makes sense! Oh, did I use all the moves already? I did. Okay. Um, I don't even know what the fan does. Let's just end it. What a brilliant move! So kind of, I oh, I have one more step I gotta use. Um, can I use I'm one of these? No, only these ones. All right. Try one of I'm these. sorry. Wants a limited time use crunch. One of these moves to end your time. I I just did, dude. What the hell? I'm afraid there is not enough time for that move. Try one of these. Magnifique! Belle cannot okay. wait to try this dance at the surprise party. What are you waiting for? It's time to make some magic happen on the dance floor. Okay. Very nice choreography. Thanks. Off we go to decorate the ballroom. And dance in it, too. That was wonderful. Why is Lumiere no so horny? It's because he's French. Party. Maybe we should go back to the foyer to see what else needs to be done. Click on the magic mirror to return to the foyer, or click anywhere else to stay in the ballroom. 
Click on the magic mirror to go back to the foyer. I want to make the decorations. Congratulations! That was fantastic! Now it's time to see it all put together. If you'd like to see the dance you have just created, no. click on the doorway. If you'd like to change the decorations, yes. simply click on them. Your artistic talents are perfect for the job. Oh, thanks. If you'd like to save your dance, play a new dance, or play an old dance, use the dance card. And of course, to exit, click on the magic mirror. Okay. Don't really like any of these, okay. Okay. Pretty. I don't think there's a secret passage in here. They do look like minimal wedding decorations. To leave the dance floor, back we go. That was wonderful. The beast has no idea we're planning a surprise. Oh my party. god. Maybe we should go back to the foyer to see what else needs to be done. That's a great Click idea. On the magic mirror. Yep. And return to the foyer. I'll do or that. anywhere else to stay in the ballroom. I'm I'm good. Click on the magic mirror to go back to the foyer. Yep. If you'd like to return to the foyer, yep. Click on the mirror again. I sure do. If you'd like to stay, click anywhere else. See you soon. I'm trying really hard not to just skip again. your dialogue, so. You really have completed quite a bit for the surprise party. But there's Two out of four things. Finish. There are still more rooms to visit. When in the canon does this take the place? Welcome to the garden. This is where the beautiful stained glass windows in the castle are created. We can make art, create new windows, or even write party invitations for our friends. Each time you come back, you say, here, or even write party invitations, but I swear that's what Why I have to do, me? or else we can't move on. Picture. Choose a background here. If you'd like to make a stained glass window, choose a design here. Once you've created a stained glass window, click here to light it up. To add pictures to your backgrounds, choose a sticker here. If you'd like to make party invitations, click on the card. To see one of your drawings, click on a color tag. To start a new drawing, click mm -hmm. on a white tag. Mm -hmm. To clear the page, click on the paper holder. Okay. If you want to erase what you just did, click on the feather. All right. When you're ready to print, click here. Okay. If you want to go back to the foyer, click here. Yep. Be as creative as gotcha. you want. I can hardly wait to see your work. Okay, cool. Um, some sound effects that Stained kill me. Glass windows. Um, sound effects that will just murder me on the spot. I'm gonna make a pretty picture. It's gotta be all that color. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll play with the background a bit more, I suppose. Wow. Wow. Also, when they're explaining all of this stuff, like, this is for this, and this is for this, and this is for this. I don't even remember. Like, guys, just make it make sense. I shouldn't be so hard. Make an undo button. It doesn't have to be so immersive. I think we need to make invitations for the party that we're doing, you know? Who in the... who, who made this? Who just like stuck three assets on a page and called that a graphic? It's not my birthday. I don't have any friends. It's not a tea party. It's a surprise party. Is it really surprising if you're writing the word surprise party on it? Let's take this one and put like a sticker on it. Stickers. That's not a good sign. Well, maybe it has to be like on a scene to put a sticker. 
Yeah, we can't put stickers on our invitations. That's cringe. Lots of choices. Oh my god, they're gay! How do I make it bigger? Oh, there's only three sizes to choose from. Okay, yeah. Guys, this is their party. Why is this character a different color than when we just saw them? Oh, and Lemire's weird lady friend can watch. Oh, whatever the hell this thing is. That can be there. Let's, uh... Let's make it daytime. It's like midday. Wonderful. Oops. I cannot hover over anything else. No, I wanted to make... Mm, game. This isn't difficult. I was hoping that wouldn't look so ugly. It'll have to be like this. Make it look like they're in prison. The gray bars and the gray floor. Oh, not you. And the gray floor. That green really pops and really makes this color look ugly, so I'm gonna keep it. I wish I could write text. Oh, it animated! It, it, it yes. animated! This is beautiful. Okay. If you're sure you want to leave the garden, I do. click again. Something smells wonderful. We must be heading toward the kitchen. I already did that one. Hello, love. Hello. Nice to see you again. Thanks. Our meal is already prepared yep. for the party. Click on the magic mirror to return to the foyer. Yep. Or if you'd like to prepare more food just for fun, click anywhere just for, else. I can play for fun? Guys. Oh, okay. See you in a little while then. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Why, hello again. You really Wait. have completed quite a bit for the surprise party, but there's more to finish. There are still more rooms to visit. The garden writing desk. Did I not achieve what I needed to achieve there? Notice when you finish a room, the like they add something. Like this was added. The this is sticking this out. Is, what is, is missing here? Credits. The credits. No, but the what's missing here? Desk. The garden. So uh, I'll just do this one for now. Bonjour, mon ami. We are so happy to see you. We need your expert help on a matter of great mystery. It's a logic Perhaps puzzle. I should explain the conundrum. In order to surprise the master, we must enter the West Wing. Unfortunately, he has hidden the key in one of these books. Only Cogsworth doesn't remember which book it's hidden behind. I wrote it down in secret code. Secret even to you. Come closer, and we'll explain how to find the key to the West Wing. It's a great I mini game. Need you to choose questions about the book where the key is hidden. I'll find the answer from the secret codes. Then you can eliminate the books that do not fit the answer. For example, click on the book of clues, and I will ask you: Is it a blue book? And I will answer. If I say yes, you can rule out all the books that are not blue by clicking on the red stripe on the book covers. If I say no, it is not a blue book, then you can dispose of all the blue books, but guess wisely. Speaking of guesses, you may, if you wish, try to guess which book is the mystery book by clicking on the green stripe. But be careful, 
If you guess incorrectly, you lose a clue. This is precisely why I advise you to guess wisely. We only have a limited number of questions. You can tell how many clues you have by looking at the roses. If they are red, you can still ask more questions. I understand, okay. And at each level, you will need to identify the mystery book to get a section of the key. Once you complete all three levels, we will have the complete key to the West Wing. If you want to change the level, click here. If you want to go back to the foyer, click here. Let's get started then, shall we? Okay. I think click the color clues the are like the, the most base. Which color do we have like the most of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have the most yellow, so I'm gonna ask about yellow because that could eliminate a lot either way. Is the background yellow? Yes, it is yellow. Excellent work. So that was a good question to ask. Pull the book back. Um. And eight. Mm, and we can't ask any more color questions. Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Uh, no. No scarf. Scarfed people, get the hell out of here. Pull the book back. All right, um... Not really a lot of teeth characters. Not a lot of wing characters. Not a lot of mustache characters. I don't know what that question implies. Hats? Not a lot of hats. This will eliminate almost half or more than question. half of whatever we do. Can you see if this character is wearing glasses? Oh my, excellent! There are glasses. Okay. So far, this has all been correct statistically, and yes, I will ask about. Well, Click here now it makes a bit less sense to ask about instruments. Room. But that's what I was gonna do otherwise. I scroll through everything, so I do whatever was first. It had the same effect though. Hmm. I have four more questions. We can really get very specific. The character on the book, does it have big teeth? No, it does not have big teeth. We have only three questions left. I know that. Pull the book back. Are those wings on this character? Guess. Click here to turn the page for the next You know, clue. I'll just ask about glasses, and if it's yes or no, I got question. it, basically. Mon ami, can you look at glasses? Sorry, ask that question. I'm freaking stupid. Oh my, excellent. There are glasses. Don't ami, look at me. But two Don't look left. at me right now. I know we have two questions left. I'm just blind. Don't pay attention. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> are these wings for real? Does it have wings? No, there are no wings, apparently. So this is duck bitch. Maybe we have arrived at our final question. So, you think that... Oh, dear. Apparently not. What? Oh, drat. What? Do not give up, please. Wait, what? Let me try again. Are they asking me, like... Is it because I have to just know that ducks have wings? I thought it would have to be in the picture. I feel like now I need to study the Disney character lore. I don't know who the fuck this is. Guess? Question. Is the answer the same? <laughs> That's weird. I'm asking the same yellow is question. The background yellow. Yes, it is yellow. Excellent work. Wait, so is it the same? I did the wrong thing. I think it's the same thing. Can I just like, guess this one then? But then it wouldn't make sense why we have multiple like, numbers of clues, right? I'm gonna try it. Guess so. You well done. It's the you same one. On you have infinite guesses. A section of it doesn't clue. reset. You have solved the first mystery. Excellent. 
This level can be tricky. Here we go. I've never had a problem in this game before. Anyway. That's about red. Questions. Let us see. Let us see. Uh, no. Don't worry. I won't. They were all yes. on one shelf. <gasps> Yo, poggers. Sorry, I just got a notification of great news. I maybe I should go to Tokyo today. Oh my god. Question. I just learned that they put the laser discs back at Mandarake and Akihabara, so I might want to go while it's still fresh, you know? Because it wasn't there a few days ago. Um, what was I going to ask about? Green or blue? Blue. Blue is better. I'm ask about blue. Is the background blue? No, this is not it. Oh. Don't worry. It's not regrettably. It's good that it's not. It's a large amount to get rid of. Can I just keep asking colors? Or is that like too much? Is the background green? Unfortunately, not. We have only three questions left. All of our questions have eliminated a lot, though. Pull the book back. Questions. Should I keep asking colors? Like, I'll get good information. Questions. Yes. It is yellow. Okay. Excellent work. Mon ami, we have but two questions left. I know. Will that be enough to get rid of this many glasses is my next question, I think. Yes, glasses will eliminate two. Mon ami, can you see if this character is wearing glasses? Oh my, excellent. There are glasses. Oui, oui, we have arrived at our final question. Okay, so now, do I get a question and a guess? Yeah, I'm probably gonna ask the scarf question. Oh, I skipped it. Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Uh, no. No scarf. So, for me down. Two down. For me down, down, bitch. Splendid. You have found the second section of the key. The toughest level by far. You can do it. Level three. Push back. Let's see. We got four blues, four reds, a lot of oranges. Well, yeah. The background orange. Yes, orange it is. It's a great way to narrow it down right away. What if you're colorblind? Push back. Sorry. I don't know why I'm so scared of like Push picking back. the wrong one. Well, you know orange is the color. Are you sure? No, I'm trying to push it back. Okay. So we've got Yes. Mm, two people have instruments. Pull the book back. Two people have jackets. Is this, is this jacket? That's why some questions I hate. Pull the book back. Mm, I'll ask the instrument question first. Question, is this character playing an instrument by any chance? Oh dear, there is no musical instrument here. What a waste. I really don't think this game is random. Because it always works out statistically the way I'd expect it to. Questions. Hmm. Oh, I just realized in my description I said that you can't click the links in the description, but that's not true, actually, because I had to verify to my ID with YouTube. So please do not hack into YouTube and steal my facial recognition data. Mm. 
I'll ask the jacket question. Because it's no longer ambiguous. Is this character wearing a jacket? Aha! Uh -huh. It is wearing Ooh. a jacket. Well done. Mon ami, we have but two questions left. I did it because I wanted... Links. Push back. See, I am posting, but I needed it, like, sooner, you know what I mean? Okay, what is the one characteristic that these two do not have in common? Teeth? This guy's got some weird teeth, right? Guess. This guy's got normal teeth, maybe? I honestly can't really tell easily from the picture. I just skipped it. Yeah, my channel features got restricted because I quote unquote don't have enough channel history. And I'm like, bitch, I've been streaming like multiple times a week for like over, over like over a year. So I'm like, I don't know what that's about. The character on the book, does it have big teeth? No, it does not have big teeth. Oui, oui, we have arrived at our final question. So the key is ours. I knew I could count on you. You've won! Okay, I used to stream three times a week. If you for want like... to start the game again, click here. Otherwise, click on the arrow to go back to the foyer. We still when have plenty to do to prepare for the ball. I was streaming three times a week for like three months or something. And then I went down to two times a week for the rest of the year. That was actually like in mid 2022. <laughs> but to say my channel doesn't have sufficient history is crazy, because clearly there's history. Return to the foyer. If you'd like to return to the game, the ship's a consistency. The to the foyer. I don't think it's fair to punish someone for having Farewell. lower, you um, I cannot believe how much you have, you know, lower consistency, because some party. YouTube Just channels don't work like that, you know. Party can begin. Aren't we punished by the algorithm enough? Bell's writing desk. Okay, Bell's so like. Wait, we cannot go to the West Wing, my friend. We wouldn't want to disturb the master before the big surprise party. Bell's right. Hello again. How do you come up with all these wonderful ideas? Do I just have to fill all of them, maybe? Makes me wonder, did I ever beat this game as a child? No, I did the invitation. Look. Do I have to print it? I printed it. To PDF. I have to like make something for every one of these. It's not like a huge waste of time. Poverty simulator. Beautiful. I don't think I can write anything on these invitations. No, nope, they're just for printing. Green castle. Yellow lightning. Pink clouds. Beautiful. Mm. Let's use the stickers. Who's your favorite yes. stickers? Why is he looking like that? Why is he looking like that? Can I make it bigger? Why is he looking like that? What's he looking at? I need to stop making these weird situations. Anyway, isn't this romantic? Okay, next. 
Let's actually make something pretty. Pink is pretty. Purple is pretty. Blue is pretty. Lovely. <laughs> the weird beard in the beast crash ship that is. Someone's gotta make them. Close the lid and make a new choice. Pink is pretty. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Backgrounds. That checks out, doesn't it? Okay. Library. This library looks boring. So I will enhance it. Wonderful. None of these books look appealing. So I'm going to make them look appealing. These look so much more readable now. And why is the ground gray? That's so... That's so drab. We gotta liven that up a bit. Where's my cursor? We gotta liven that up a bit. The yellow. Beautiful. Now who is meeting? Who is meeting in this library? Okay. We have Belle, who strangely almost blends into the background because of my color choices. Oh, there's still black books. We gotta make those pretty. There's not really a lot of pretty colors, though. No! What color was this before? I already forgot. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said this. Okay. Okay. And I do like that suggestion. Oh, but she's looking down. I need her to look up. Look up, girl. Chin up, girly. Here we go. Oh, she's animated. I don't want animated. I want to make the size bigger. Um. You got the world. Why, that's the perfect place for that. Well, thanks. Yeah, you know, I will use the animated one though, because that's all we really have. Gotta put it in our eyeline. Wonderful. Look at them. I love that for them. Okay. Next. Um. Ooh. Some seating. Oh, they sure are good friends, I agree. Okay, I'm gonna put them here. And then... He's just watching. Is it- let's be watching another one too. It's fine. That's his- if that's his thing, that's his thing. Who am I to judge? Do the library already. Oh, here we are, right in the front of the house. Next. Who have we not used yet? We haven't used, like, Lumiere yet. We gotta put him somewhere. I just had a cursed idea. I don't think I like it. Um, we're a bit limited in what characters we have. Why is he? What's he doing? What is this? Oh, is he dancing? I'm so confused. He looks. He looks like he's in distress. He looks distressed. Oh, here's a character we haven't used yet. Fantastic! That's a wonderful picture. Get out of here. Do you think this is our nipple? Probably look around there. Alright. And to emphasize and to emphasize the scene, I'm gonna make the background a white void. 
I just think it's fitting to have a white void. They're consenting adults. They're shaming them. I did that one. That does not look like the beast. Is this like adultery? Adultery in my Disney game? This is that color already. No, ooh, I can make it lighter. Okay, that's already that. Okay. I see, I see. No, what? Okay. Oh, there are so many colors down here. And they're the same as up here. Wow. Oh, okay. Look at them. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's, um... Have I used all the backgrounds? Nope, we haven't in the woods yet. Let's make it nighttime. Gotta make all the trees darker because it's nighttime. And the grass. And the water. And these trees as well. The water darker. Make the castle on like a grayish color then. It's too bright. Same as the rocks. I guess that works. Only one brown, so we can't really. We can do this though black as well. Nah. Now what's happening in this dark wooded area? That's so bright. Oh my god, I thought it'd be like a subdued color. Okay, what is happening in these woods, guys? I need a story. At the very least, this guy's chilling out here. Bold combination, but I like it. Look at them. Just, they're, just, they're just sitting on the rocks, being cozy. Can I color the stickers? No. Okay. Next. Is this tray a living being? Maybe they can be like on it. No. Doesn't work. Oh, it can get big, okay. Okay, next. Mm, we're out of scenes, but I want to make more scenes. Go back to poverty. And let's see. Who have I not yet included in this? Oh, here we go. Boy, that's the perfect place for that. I was about to say this scene does not match anymore. We gotta change it. We need more space. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Oh, look, it's not... 
It's not, um... They're both animals. Chip? I've kind of been leaving Chip out of this on purpose. I'm not crack shipping a child. Erase. Okay, Char, I saw the movie enough to know that it's a dog. Okay, so. Oh. You know, yeah, me too. I wasn't thinking the animals were, were romancing. I thought they were like, maybe they're just like chilling together. Just hanging out, just hanging out, you know, normal, normal stuff. I make it like a, st a starless sky. I make the stars black. That's kind of edgy. Okay, we gotta make one more, guys. What should we make? Maybe one last window. I'm gonna make the cold sun. This is an artistic project I call the cold sun. I don't think blue really matches that one. Okay. Save blue for the red. Dude, that's impactful. That's that's meaningful. I'll just keep a semi-warm color though for the cloud. Um Light the stained glass window. I'm trying to think of like a French themed thing to say. Um Fantastique. As they say. Guess now I just leave. Would you like to go back inside? If so, click again on the mirror. If you'd like to stay out, let me leave. Click anywhere else. I'm out. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll see you soon. You've <gasps> done it. I've done Everything it. Everything is ready for the party. Well done, mon ami. Uh, go ahead and click on the West Wing, and the party will begin. Oh my God, guys! The party's gonna begin. Well, the West Wing. Ooh. Oh boy. Here he comes, Mama. Keep it down, dear. Oh no. He'll the hear suspense. You. Shh. Surprise! A surprise party for me? So tell us, were you surprised? I never suspected a thing. You were asleep the whole time. Thank you. Just as I said all along, we could pull it off without a hitch. I thought you'd wake up when we were cooking, but Mama said you sleep right through it. Oh, now, shit. <laughs> well, sir, there is a young lady here with a request. May I have the first dance? It would be my pleasure. And believe it or not, they lived happily ever after. They changed my decorations. Those weren't even options. That's not even the dance that I made. Welcome back. That's all you have to say? Cogsworth, the garden writing desk. So now you're quiet. I see. Well, that was very anticlimactic. I'll play the credits. Credits. Look at everyone that helped make our surprise party a success. Literally just playing the credits and taking me back to the name selection screen would have felt more final than this. Hmm. 
I'm supposed to put on one ass music. Did I do install quick time for this? This game was released Welcome in 2000. Back. Okay, I got it. This game was released in 2000. Wait, y'all are boomers. What's that mean? I didn't play this game in 2000. It was probably like 2003 or something. But yeah, you know. Would you like to go to the garden? I don't. I wouldn't. I, are you coming in, love? Just type in your name, or if you see it on the guest list, just click on it. There's no way to quit this game except for just like quitting this game. So, uh. I'll just go back here. And I guess turn the music back on. Unless y'all want to listen to like the game music. I can put that on, but I'd rather not. How do I close this? I got it. I got it. We're good. I got it. We are good. Where's the music I was playing before? There we go. Now I'm back on my main screen. I feel at home. How have y'all been doing? It's been a hot minute, I think, since I was like doing stuff. My tracking's a bit off, actually. Let me fix that. Didn't mean to fix this the whole game. That's one thing that's good. Um, how do I reset my tracking? Control R? What's my control? Why is control just moving me? Ooh. Shift R? Ma maybe? Oh. I'm sideways? Why am I crooked? Why am I crooked? How do I- why am I spinning? Hold up. I've never had this problem before. What is happening? Oh! I don't know what I'm looking up now. Just give me them Sampaku eyes. Don't want that. Stop. I guess I'll just like- oh, oh no! It's like rotate myself to be normal. Reset. Okay. That's kind of normal, I think. Where's my window, though? Where's OBS? Oh, okay. I became normal! Kind of. Marginally more normal than before. I feel like I'm small. Why am I small? Where's me? I want to be not small. Whoa! Maybe not I'm too big, I don't know. I'd rather be big than small, personally. But yeah! I'm glad game went well. Is this um, tracker in the top corner up to date? I still hope one day we reach this goal. We're so close, guys. Like five people, and then I do a lot of streaming. I got an advertisement on YouTube, dude. Why do I got advertisements on videos with music? Okay. I'm a professional streamer. I'm very professional. Dude, they're moving so much when I move so slightly. But yeah. I feel like that was something I want to talk to y'all about. I had so many ideas. And now I can't remember any of them. How have y'all been- how have y'all been doing, like? I don't know happened in my life recently. I went out a lot recently. How did I remember this game? That's a good question. Um... I was at this, like, um, event for my work. It was, like, a speech contest. They wanted me to go, like, watch it and see if I could learn anything for me to improve at my own job. 
And so they, the theme was English, like use English. And I'm like, great, I love using English. I use it all the time. Um, so I was like, okay, this is gonna be pretty chill. It'll be fun. And the, the presentations were great. The speeches were great. But then they had this thing in the middle they had a keynote speaker who was like, oh, you know, um, it'll be good to, you know, just use English and have a fun thing. And there are a lot of um, English language learners at this event. And so they were like, we'll just give a little, a little, a little speech in English about a random topic and it'll be fun. The topic was about the economy. And that was super boring. <laughs> and I did not know what to do. Um, most of the students didn't understand. I didn't understand anything. So I sort of closed my eyes and like let my mind wander, hoping that it would make time pass faster. It didn't. And then eventually, this just popped into my head. I forget what part of it popped into my head though. It was just like, I was like, hey, that Beauty and the Beast game used to play? I wonder if you could find that online. So I Googled Beauty and the Beast PC game and it came up immediately. And I was like, oh, I'll download it and see what's up. I'll get in those moods sometimes where I'll like remember an old game or something. And I'll be like, I think most of my earliest memories actually are of PC games. So, um, yeah, I was like, I enjoy going on those little, those little things where you like, remember something, you look it up, and you feel like the, you unlock your old memories, right? So I was like, I want to do that, and I might as well stream it. <gasps> Dude, I want, we should, mm, I want to stream out of the pony game. I want to stream out of the pony game. That'd be so good. Unless you want to stream it, I might stream it. <laughs> We could stream it in a call, or like, I don't know. We could save it and stream it IRL. JK unless. <laughs> you know, so. That could go well. And, uh, I mean, expect a lot of collab streams, I think. And by a lot, I mean like at least, I wanna say at least four, we'll do at least four collab streams over the course of six weeks? Maybe more. That could be fun. <gasps> oh, guys, I so badly want to stream in Tokyo again. Oh my god, I was back in Kabukicho a couple days ago and I was like, I wish I was streaming. <laughs> like, it's so fun. And even though, like, tourism is open now and Japan's streaming rules have gotten a lot more harsh because of certain individuals, it's still, like, I think fine to do it just, like, in public. I just couldn't really be able to go in anywhere easily. At least not conspicuously. So. And I mean, the image of foreigners streaming in Tokyo, everyone already hates them, so I feel like I won't perpetuate I guess I'm perpetuating, but it won't change their opinion. Super Nintendo World Stream donation goal. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? Hold up, I'm gonna Google it. So, Super Nintendo World USJ ticket price. I will also look up directions on Google Maps from Tokyo to wait I'm gonna so USJ in Osaka directions from we'll just write like Tokyo I'm not gonna dox myself actually you guys can't see my screen I can dox myself um to myself oh, I don't have my home saved on this account um I don't know, I'll try my station. I want my own station, just in case. So, if I took Shinkansen, it would cost $150, making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven train transfers, and three and a half hours, and $150, plus... What is it like? Tickets typically cost between 
Oh, that's train cost. I need like the actual ticket. I know Disney tickets are about a hundred dollars. So new donation goal, guys. <laughs> new donation goal. If we get um, three hundred dollars Canadian, not U.S., if we get three hundred dollars Canadian. I will live stream at Super Nintendo World Japan. <laughs> Disneyland is a bit more doable, but if I'm going there, I don't want to stream. Crowdfunding a vacation. It's what the viewers want, Elephant. It's what the viewers want. Because really all I'm thinking to do my like IRL streams, I'm like... I want to learn from my mistakes from last time, and I want to get like at least a selfie stick. Maybe a little, maybe like a Bluetooth lapel microphone or something. But those are optional. A selfie stick would be helpful, honestly. I don't own- I don't have my overalls anymore that I used to use when I streamed. <laughs> so I'll just do it every other streamer doesn't get a selfie stick. Selfie sticks are very useful for live streaming though. You see a lot of people in Tokyo with selfie sticks. Especially at Shibuya Crossing. Dude, Shibuya Crossing is the most underwhelming thing you'll ever experience if you ever go to Japan. <laughs> like... <laughs> Wait, I saw someone say you can look up the Google reviews for Shibuya Crossing and they're very funny. So let me see if I can find it. Like, Shibuya Scramble Crossing. Let me see reviews. Questions and answered. I see reviews. Wait, why are the reviews positive? So even says wear a mask there if you don't want to be captured by tourists camera. I've never had fun at Shibuya Crossing. I guess it's worth seeing. Because it's like iconic and all that. I need to sort the reviews. Show me the lowest rated reviews. This place is crazy. I hate coming here. People are constantly pushed and shoved around while narcissistic wannabe Instagrammers fight for a position and attempt to get the perfect selfie shots without regard for anyone else or the flow of traffic. That's true. But this person just hates cities, so it's not really fair. Came here during Halloween. That's a terrible idea. Um... It's the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world. It's quite a sight to behold. If you actually stop there for three tenths of a second long enough to behold it without getting swept away by a human tsunami. Ended up here by accident. <laughs> See, normally what I say, like, with all the people I've spoken to online or in person, I can always tell who has actually been to Shibuya Crossing or not based on how they feel about it. Like if I ask someone like, oh, you know, what do you want to do in Shibuya? If they say Shibuya Crossing, I'm like, you've never been to Shibuya. If I, if someone says like, but meanwhile, like me and like many other people I know, locals and even tourists who have been to Tokyo more than once are like, like, I'm like, oh, should we meet at Shibuya Station? Like, no, because that means you got to go through the crossing. Like, it's so, like, Mira Hachiko, I guess that's cliche, but, like, it's almost better to meet outside the place you're meeting up at, so you can take a train e exit that's not at the actual Shibuya crossing. Like, stay underground as long as you can. I mean, I feel like, I've never been to Times Square, but I feel like there's more space there. Like, Shibuya crossing doesn't have a lot of space. It's really exactly enough space for people to wait to cross the street and then cross the street and you can't really stop but people still do if you like crowds you'll enjoy it if you hate crowds you'll hate it if you're indifferent it's probably boring 
That's my experience. It's pretty boring. I mean, some people enjoy crowds. Feeling like you're a part of something, feeling a sense of community of all the people crossing the street at the same time. I do like the look of the, um, I don't want to say the skyline because it's like the buildings. I like the landscape. It's got good views above the crossing. Like, let me see if I can find the, if I can find a picture. I have some good pictures, but they're on my phone and my phone is currently capturing my facial tracking data. So I got to use Google and stock photos and stuff like that. I guess like stuff like this, can I copy and paste an image into OBS? We're about to find out. You cannot. <laughs> okay. I have to save the picture then? How do, we, how do people do this? How do people do this easily and casually? I'm just going to double click and drag, click and drag to desktop, click and drag to OBS. Okay. Y'all see like- I don't want to cover everyone. Y'all see like this. It's kind of blurry, but this is kind of like a pretty view, you know? The 109 building, there's always a big advertisement. There's lots of- it's Japan, there's advertisements literally everywhere. I love that building in the middle with the neon sign still. That's very cute. So. So yeah. I love the city. Okay, but Shibuya Crossing is not the best thing in Shibuya. There's so many more beautiful things in Shibuya, like go to Dogenzaka. I hate to say it, but literally the neighborhood and the street that the Taco Bell is on, beautiful. If you're gonna go to Shibuya, go to Taco Bell. Because that neighborhood's beautiful. And it might not be there for much longer. They're trying to, um... I think they want to rebuild that street, but it's like, it's got so much character. So people are like, no, don't rebuild it, but like they want to rebuild it because it's not up to the the um, safety standards of buildings that have been updated recently. Not even that recently, like in the 70s or something. So I think there should, they should find a way to like stabilize the buildings without changing how they look too much. It's also built on like a bunch of hills, like the hill is so steep, there are stairs on the street to get around. And when it's raining and those stairs are slippery with the stones, it's kind of scary. No, honestly, I'm so mad. I have no tracking. I'm honestly so mad about what um, what Mario Kart did to the Tokyo level. Like, like they took one of the coolest cities in the world, I think. And like, each part of Tokyo feels completely different. Like you go to Ikebukuro, you go to Shibuya, you go to Shinjuku, you go to Ueno, you go to Tokyo Station, you go to Akihabara, you go to Nakano, go west, go to Hachioji, go to like, um, what is it, Tachikawa? Like everywhere it looks so different and so unique. And what did they make? They made the highway and one big lantern from Asakusa. Now Asakusa is cool. Asakusa is really cool. But like, could they have gotten away with calling it like Tokyo Driftway though? Like, you know, Dragon Driftway, Tokyo Driftway? Maybe. Ironic that Nintendo is scared of another company's lawyers for once. But yeah. It is what it is. Maybe Mario Kart did a bad representation of Tokyo because Tokyo makes a bad representation of Mario Kart. Because of all those stupid Mario Karters on the streets. Have fun downstairs, June.
I wonder if Tokyo will ever solve the over-tourism problem. Like, I'm scared to go to Harajuku on a weekend. I mean, it didn't stop me last time, but oh my god. There's too many people in the city. Screwed up the rainbow- what rainbow bridge? I don't know anything about a rainbow bridge. Rainbow Bridge in Tokyo. I'm opening my Google again. Tokyo Rainbow Bridge. Oh, in Minato City. Is it near like, um... Oh! Is that what they were supposed to be representing? Oh! Does it go to Odaiba? I didn't even know. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it connects Tokyo to Odaiba, the man-made island. Well, you know, fun fact about Tokyo is that I don't, and I think a lot of people in Tokyo don't own cars or drive anywhere. So I've never been on this bridge. It looks like there's no train on it. So I don't know it. But apparently you can, you can cross it on foot. So that's kind of cool. Go on the gay bridge in Tokyo. Welcome back. Oh, sorry. Welcome back. Gotta say it like Mitsuru Kirijo. What's up, dude? Where have you been? Greetings. <laughs> you know all those good things. Have fun at school tomorrow. Dude, I hate when people say that. Like, I'm like, oh, I gotta go to school, I gotta go to work. They're like, have fun! I'm like, I won't! But, you know. Try your best and get that diploma. Get out of there as soon as you can. I gotta go grocery shopping today, and I'm not gonna have fun. I need, like, some music recommendations. I need to find out what music I really like the most. Grocery in Japan! Oh my god, guys, should I live stream at my grocery store? I will not. I would be willing to live stream at a grocery store that's not my local one, but these people will see me again and that's cringe. You know what I want? Like, do they have... Like, have we invented, like, glasses with cameras on them? Cause like, wouldn't that be so much easier to stream if I did like take pictures and stuff? If I just had like, y'all could just see what I saw. See, 
I know Google Glass was making those, but like Google Glass never really took off. And now Apple's got this weird like VR headset you wear IRL, which is so much more conspicuous. Like the Google, should have just went with Google Glass. Should have just made Apple Glass or something. I want to be Cam Jensen so bad, but I want to be able to send it to someone else. Is Cam Jensen, like, airdropping her mental images? No. She is not based. Click. I don't know what Cam Jensen's name is. It's Cam Jansen. I googled it. What does she look like? Oh, she's ugly. Good for her. She doesn't let her being ugly slow her down. Okay, um... What was I about to look up, though? I'm just staring at a Google search bar being like, what was I going to ask you? Camera glasses! They're probably really expensive because the camera's gonna be small. Camera glasses. Just look it up on Amazon. Okay, these actually are a lot cheaper than I thought they were. But I'm on Amazon America, so I gotta go to Amazon.co.jp. I gotta tell you, the economy is not doing as well. I have no idea what the quality would be. It'd be listed on the product information page. Okay, this is more the price I was expecting. Well, you know what, actually? This one says you get a 1080p image quality, hidden camera, glasses, camera, HD 1080p image quality, large capacity, 128 gigabyte support, long time recording, easy operation, spy camera, photography, glasses with camera, security use, meetings, business, negotiations, evidence, photography, indoor, outdoor use, Japanese instruction manual. Now, would I be able to stream from it? It doesn't seem like it. Unfortunately, it seems like it's like it just stores it onto an SD card or into itself and you plug it in. But if this is at the price of mini cameras, I almost wonder if I could just like get a mini camera, put it on my jewelry or something. You know? Hmm. But yeah, this costs like $65, which less than $100 is crazy to me. I thought it would be like $300. So technology has advanced. Why are these ones so much- why, are, why is there so much difference in the price? They're recommending me like this 3D glasses. I'm like, I don't need 3D glasses. It's also showing webcam, so it's getting a little confusing.
That's a little crazy. That's kind of a lot. This listing has some great photography on it. And by that I mean some terrible Photoshop. I highly recommend researching this kind of product. The images are funny. But damn. I added the word streaming and everything went up to like 250, so. It's kind of a bummer. Can I stop getting like advertisements? Thank you. I have YouTube Premium, but on a different account. So, whoops. There's Wi Fi camera glasses. You stream it to an application? I'm on Opera GX, so I thought, I thought Adblock was built in. Crowdfunding streamer glasses to bring to the crowdfunded vacation. Guys, I just need a sugar daddy. I just need a good simp. And then I can be a fun, cool streamer. Damn. Life is difficult. Yeah, getting a simp sounds nice. like free money Just putting that out there that I like free money <laughs> I don't even know how many people are watching right now probably not enough for free money let's check out my poll ooh okay I guess we're streaming American Wasteland next I thought of another game that I wanted to stream immediately after posting this poll. But I'll save it for after American Wasteland, I think. I mean, if you want to make the outfit, you can make the outfit. At this point, I'll stream with or without it. You can make- you can take creative liberties with it. It doesn't have to be exact. Don't worry about it. At the very least, though, I might make some kind of, like, emo t-shirt. Because I realized recently in the game you can, like, change the logos on shirts. So. That's kind of funny. I think. upscale the logo so you've already done like part of the work you know I think I've been streaming long enough I got tired of the music and I thought should I change the music or should I just end the stream and I think I think I should end the stream we'll have plenty of time to talk more in the near future I'm thinking I might stream relatively consistently this week because I want to, um... I want to maintain some kind of schedule during my two-week vacation. My next stream? What day is it today? Is it Thursday? It's Wednesday. So I can probably stream tomorrow. To look forward to that. You don't have a day in either. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, 
Yeah, I probably won't be able to stream too much on the actual weekend because of my plans. But yeah, we had good stream. Dude, I'm ending the stream before Elephant leaves. Let's go, poggers. Gets to watch the end of the stream live now. There, there is no fun fanfare for the end of the stream. <laughs> It is just, um, it is just this. I guess I'm going to end this poll. Poll ended. Ten people voted. That's pretty good. An award. I have nothing to give, though. What can I do, like, virtually headbutt you? Didn't even work. Eh. <laughs> that's, that's the, <laughs> that's the award. <laughs> uh, a lot of thaw votes. It's actually five. Five votes for American Wasteland. All right, so that's what I'll, that's what I'll be doing. That's the kind of shenanigans we'll be up to next time. Sounds fun. All right. See ya.